Yeah, is shining up now. You want to remove a collar or one hyena. The lifespan of the battery in that collar is dead. The other one we have to remove and replace it with a GPS one to see how his movement within the clan or within other clans on the reserve is coming up. So that's our aim for the next couple of days. Hopefully that we're successful. You want me to go ahead or not? The Okanjima Brown Hyena Research Project aims to look at the ecology of brown hyenas living in an enclosed reserve. This was actually the first hyena we ever darted uh, to put a GPS collar on and he gave us a lot of very valuable data. He's part of the Port clan, which is our biggest clan living on Okanjima. They're currently raising free cubs and all clan members uh, bring food back to the den for the cubs. So we often see him at the den and he brings food back. He spends time looking after the cubs, playing with them, socializing. So he's been a really valuable individual for us data-wise. Yeah, but his teeth are good, no? He's young. Yeah. yeah. Superman. Brown hyenas are social. They live in groups called clans, and clans consist of related females um, and their offspring, and then immigrant males who come in to take the role of the breeding male. So they're the only sort of carnivore species that we've got on Okanjima that lives in these social groups, and we've got six clans living across the reserve. 60.6. Okay. So we'll just attack every time. I'm going to give him now this combination of medicine to try and wake him up um, to reverse some of the drugs. He is still a little bit dizzy. It's a calm character. Going to open up now. He will be a little bit unsteady still. For brown hyenas, the main risk or threat to their survival is um, human wildlife conflict. Uh, farmers often kill brown hyenas if they see a dead cow and then the hyena is scavenging off the dead cow. They probably they jump to the conclusion that the hyena killed that cow even though they're scavengers and they, they don't kill uh, large livestock at all.